Hello everyone, Stuckery here, and welcome back to a Hearts of Iron 4 video. My friends, as all of you are aware, there are plenty of nations in Hearts of Iron 4, all of which are very interesting and have their own unique flavor. T okay, not all of them. Uh, uh, th there's a whole bunch that still don't. But we're getting there. Hey, next DLC is going to be releasing here in the next couple weeks. And my god, do I have some plans for you all with that. But my friends, there are still a number of regions around the world that haven't received really any love whatsoever. I mean, there's nothing that goes on here down in South America. And then besides that, since Scandinavia is getting its focus tree here this next month, that really leaves us with, um, uh, the the Middle East, the Middle East, there, there, there's nothing that goes on here. And yet, amazingly enough, even though there is no focus, there is no special features, there is no anything with the Middle East, there is one specific thing that you are able to do when you play as a Middle Eastern country. Or rather, I guess, two things. If you play as an Arab nation, then you have the ability to form the Arab Empire. And if you play as Iran, then you can form the Persian Empire. But these absolutely suck. And I'm going to show you precisely why. Are you ready for some pain? Iraq, you know, whatever time of year it is here, uh, you, sir, Ghazi the first, look like you're about to crap yourself. Lord knows I feel like I'm about to. Do we want to keep historical AI on? We could get completely screwed over. But just for the sake of chaos, I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. And simultaneously, why don't we just turn Iron Man on? Because my friends... There's no reduce, there's no retries. There is only pain. And I cannot Iran because I'm a rock and rocks can't run. Oh God, that was a bad joke. Anyway, let's uh, let's go ahead and dive into it. Here we are, Iraq, 1936, a nation that is plagued by dealing with issues of the British controlling everything in the country by seizing all the oil rights. Lovely. And we start out with a measly two civilian factories. We have two research slots and we have a single mill for production. This is gonna be so much fun. All right, first things first, there's a couple things we're gonna need to do here. Uh, we have the generic focus tree. There's nothing special about any of this. So we're gonna go ahead and get political effort from the get-go. Iraq actually starts out as probably the strongest nation among the stuff in the Middle East, because even though it has a weaker industry, it simultaneously starts with 20% support towards fascism, meaning we're gonna be able to make a beeline down towards that to be able to do anything else that we want. Though, God, I don't wanna do this. Simultaneously, we're gonna go over here. Engineering, no, we need industry to produce as much as possible. So construction and basic machine Machine tools get that going simultaneously for our only free civilian factory we're going to put that on baghdad to produce a mill factory because we need to produce as much military equipment as possible get our units put it into an army and um well they, they, they can't they can't really do anything and we don't there's no point in training them for the minuscule amount of army experience because we're gonna get that later so we'll just uh you guys just chill i hear baghdad is great this time of year it hasn't blown up yet and let's see what kind of chaos the world brings us but see, my friends, here's what I'm talking about. I should have done this from the beginning. We only get really two special things about us. One, we can nationalize the oil inside of our country, which seizes it back from the UK. So we're going to do that from the very beginning. I hope they don't fucking attack me. And then the next thing is that we're able to unite Arabia, which means as we do this, we would get cores on every single thing here in the Middle East, which sounds awesome at first, except the thing that sucks about Hearts of Iron is that you have to control every single one of these territories in order to be able to form it. And here's the problem. We have to control the entirety of Arabia, all of the Italian states of North Africa, all the French states, so everything over here with Syria, and we have to control every single one of these little bits. And in addition to that, we have to go across here and control the Spanish stuff over here in Spain. Well, North Africa, parts of Spain, but we have to control everything. So we will get cores on literally nothing until we get over here and take all of it. Do you see how bad this could potentially be? Oh, great. From the very beginning, there's the interesting stuff. Germany being embroiled in a civil war. Well, um, I, I hope that other people decide to do some other things too, because I, re I really don't want to run into a scenario where Germany goes democratic and then I, um, I have to face the combined might of the allies as Iraq. Well, with political effort done, that means first things first, we go over here to political advisor, get ourselves a fascist demagogue. Then simultaneously, we're gonna need to go over here and make a beeline down from collectivist ethos all the way till I think maybe military youth or nah, militarism. We need that army experience down here. Because if we can make a beeline down towards here, that'll give us army experience to be able to produce a special kind of unit. That is trash. And simultaneously, we're gonna be able to get 5% recruitable population, which is going to be very important to us before we start to fl flesh out our grand industry. What achievements could we even get in here during this time? I, I don't, wait, we could play as Curtis? Oh my God. Should we do an achievement run? Guys, tell you what, tell you what, tell you what. I will start doing an achievement run in Hearts of Iron 4 if this video can get 5,000 likes. If this gets 5,000 likes, I will do an achievement run and try to get every achievement in this game. And hopefully from that, be able to show you all how to do it. 
or die trying. All right, nationalism focus. Go ahead and get that done. We're going to need to increase as much of this as we can. And oh, right, political power. Uh, army offense. Get ourselves some taking army experience. Let's see with this next level. Dispersed or concentrated. We only have like one factory. What else would we do? Communist coup. Oh, 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 oh. The Italians might have to deal with some shit over here if the Soviets acquiesce. But at least since we had seized our oil, this means that we're actually trading away some oil now, which, oh, duh, well, actually I say that no one's buying any oil from us for anything. Eventually, people are going to need all the oil when it comes to, you know, tanks, planes, and everything like that. So if I can seize as much oil out of the Middle East as I can, that means that they'll have to buy from me. All right, there is nationalism focus. That means we are starting to build this up rather quickly. And then next thing after that, militarism. Go ahead and get that done. Technically speaking, if I wanted to do things quickly, I could just launch a civil war. I could, I could. But I don't want to damage my country immediately right now for it. I know that there's the whole thing where I could cheese the Civil War and then immediately go and then start justifying on people around me. Yes, but it doesn't really matter because I won't be able to get cores on any of it anyway. Like if I could, say as an example, take Saudi Arabia and then immediately get cores on it, then it's worth it, right? Because I could start to form Arabia or some kind of crap. But no, no, I can't. Meaning... I will be at a deficit the entire time of weapons, and there's no point in doing so. Ah, see? Hey, hey, we're trading to both Germanys. Yeah, that, that's got to be an awkward time in the port now. But all right, as soon as we get to 150 political power, okay, boom, that means partial mobilization. We could go war economy pretty quickly if we got this up to 50 to, you know, flip over to fascist, but we can't do that quite yet. So I'll take the partial while I can so that that way I will be able to build things over here a little bit faster. Auto assumes the Hungarian crown. That's interesting. We might be seeing a World War I Entente. Not Entente. Central powers that I, I, I can't remember history. And all right, we don't need military youth or paramilitarism. We might as well start down industrial effort to be able to boost ourselves here economically. The other reason why I want to wait to justify is because I want the nations around me to be able to start building up their own industry here, utilizing their focuses, because if they don't, me taking their land is worth basically nothing. And all right, I do have enough army experience. So let's see our divisions. We have a basic 12 width. You're wonderful. Don't let anyone tell you any different. Al Fricat. You and your brother are going to do just fine here, but guess what? We're also going to use some speed trash. Yes, just a single two with cavalry, and we're going to produce a bunch of you. Let's see. Can I get anyone commander wise? Let's see what we can do here. Oh, Brigadier Abd al Malik ibn Abd al Qadir. You got a name there, buddy. I'm going to promote you just for that. Except, unfortunately, you get nothing special except your hat. What about anyone else? Ooh, 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 your beard, buddy. Hey, I want you in charge just by virtue of your beard, though you also get nothing special about you. Great, okay. In my opinion, you have the better hat and beard, so you get to be the marshal. Yes, sir, Bob, or Marshal Abd al Karim. You know, your, your name is Bob now. All right, industrial effort done. That means next thing up after here, armament effort. We want one of these to get one more mill factory because I want to be able to produce as much equipment as I can. So even though I'm sacrificing basically everything and I won't have an industry, we need that military equipment as soon as we possibly can. Simultaneously, let's go over here and open up political discourse. Go ahead and get that going. If we can potentially discredit the government, that will help us to be able to reduce, well, how much other crap we have here in the country. Italy agrees to a, a peace deal. You, were you not winning? Were you not winning? Oh my God. Italy, Italy, you were right outside the capital. How bad do you feel there, buddy? Your chin must be quivering right now. Oh man, the nationalists are not doing so hot over here. Ha, <laughs> ah, ah, oh wow. I guess that's what happens when um uh, Germany gets stuck as... Wait, stuck? Wait, is it still taking you this long? You haven't broken through here yet against Germany? <laughs> okay, but with armament effort, that means we can go over here for construction effort. And we're going to need that because, um well, we, we, we currently have like no steel. We're going to need to get at least a little bit of that. So we'll trade with the Soviets. But then I can't construct any buildings. And it's fine. It's fine. We'll, we'll get we'll get one afterwards. Production is more important here. Let's see, go ahead and spawn out all this cavalry. We'll go ahead and place these guys on and immediately start training them up. We'll go ahead and get these guys prepared. Next up, we are going to want some more infantry. So probably like three more divisions of that. We currently have two. Yeah, yeah, that should be fine. I really wish I could get the fascist assault divisions that would form, but that hasn't happened yet. Unfortunately, RNG doesn't seem to be wanting to work on our favor right now. But, you know, it's it's fine. We'll, we'll deal with it as it is. Aha! Hey, hey, hey. Remember what I said? Yeah, yeah. Literally. Literally just a second later, that happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the Sabad packed wonderful Turkey. Of course we will accept this friendship with the Turks because they're Turks. I don't, I don't care about taking over the Turks. They're, they're freaking Turks. They're not Arabs. They're not going to be part of our grand empire. They cannot grow nearly as good of a, mu a mustache. I'm not going to call that good. You look like a caterpillar died on your face there, bud. So yes, we'll take their treaty of friendship, and that means that gives us 240 political power so we can go down here and discredit the government and then immediately hold a referendum so that we can switch over to fascism. Wonderful. Now that we've done that and we are the gold... 
another freaking caterpillar. Except the caterpillar is also glued to your head. Why do you look like you put Gorilla Glue on your head and then you're about to sue the government because of it? Well, either way, with that done, that means we can go over here and start justifying on Saudi Arabia. So let's go ahead and do that. You, you look way too happy for what's about to happen to you there, buddy. Now, the big question is, since we have the political powers that we can start justifying on a state like in the case of Yemen, which is going to take us 365 days, but really we have two choices in here. We can go after our three, I should say, Yemen, Oman, or Iran. The problem is we don't need any of the territory in Iran, but Iran has a very large population in the first place if we wanted to puppet them, and simultaneously they have a large supply of oil, and if we seize that oil, that means that we will be able to trade a lot, but the fight is not going to be an easy one. You know, I want that oil and I want those trade options, so Iran, we're going to go ahead and justify on you. I think that's going to be the smartest bet that we can do here. Oh, Austria does unite with Hungary. Okay, that happens over here. And Germany, you are still fighting yourself there, buddy. You're going to be pretty far behind from what I can see here. What about France? You doing anything special? No, it's not, not, not really anything here, looks like. United Kingdom, what about you? Oh, oh, a ch ha, 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 they're going to do something very different from what I can see. Wait, maybe, maybe if the UK goes communist, this could work out because if they go communist, that means they're going to release all their other puppets and everything, and they, that could be great, or they'll, they'll decolonize their land. Oh, even Japan is going to have a little fun over here. Are they going down the democratic path? They are. They're going down the democratic path, which is arguably one of the weakest ones in here. At least with communism, they can kind of do some things here and justification and other, you know, bonuses that they get. It's de democratic Japan gets nothing, basically. Well, I talk about getting nothing and uh, we, we get a caterpillar face and some roads. So, I mean, there's that. United Kingdom revisits colonial policy. Oh, they are. They are doing it. Oh, would you look at that? Okay. All right. This, this might actually go first. I might actually be able to do this. Ah, there goes the German Civil War. That one is done. Excellent. And then we have just about 70 days here before we're going to be going to war with... Saudi Arabia. There's Austria-Hungary that now forms. We're going to go ahead and get this done. Infrastructure effort. I want that research slot so I can start developing myself tech-wise. Let's go ahead and get all these in an army, keep our cavalry together, and also give ourselves just a little bit of boom. We've been building some artillery, so you know what? Maybe maybe we can at least do something with this by having some artillery. Yeah, that that that's fine. And then we'll put ourselves on the border here and start training up so we can get fully prepared. Same time, hunter political power. We need a military theorist. We want to make things cheaper. Yeah, we can. Military theorist. And then we're also going to need to boost that stability because that's not looking very good there, man. Okay, we're about 10 days away. Let's go ahead and stop this training. Yes, they're not fully ready, but it's fine. They'll, they'll do decent as it is. We'll go over here, improve worker conditions, because we need a little bit of stability here as soon as this starts. And then I'll spend the points here and get superior firepower. We're going to need this because even though we're not going to have necessarily much in terms of population, our units are weak, so we need to make them as strong as we can, hence why we're going to go superior firepower. Alternatively, if we went mass doctrine, we could go down here all the way to get that plus, like, you know, 5% for, uh, for recruitable population. But since we don't have a very big population base in the first place, this will just end up hurting us because then we'll have a decent amount of just trash units versus a buttload of them. Here we go. We are ready. All right, everyone, time to go ahead and declare some war and have some fun. Let's do this. Going after Saudi Arabia is somewhat easy from the beginning because as soon as you do so, we can just take all these units that are going through here and just spread them out afterwards. They're going to break through almost immediately after this, and then that means we're just going to be able to make a beeline through everything else. Oh, right, I forgot. We actually do have an Air Force, so we're going to throw that over our units and uh, close air support. Really, not much, but anything helps in the beginning, I guess. Same time, let's go ahead and throw these units to attack here because we do not want to let their units be able to kind of break through us. And go ahead and get an extra research. Let's do that. Attack on both sides. What do they even have unit-wise here? It's, I mean, they have a decent amount of defense overall here because they have at least some, some units, but it's all right. The more that we can break through, the better because we cannot let them trap us here. All right, go ahead and take one of these units and we're just going to start beelining down through here to take as much of this territory as we can. Oh, we even overran this unit. Excellent. Ooh, looks like they moved one of their units over here. Okay, so that means we're going to make a change and make this guy beeline towards this side. And if we can sweep down through here, that'll be fine. You, in the meantime, head down towards that coast. Here, do we can to trap them, keep this going. Do not let them move. We cannot let them move. The more they move, the more they'll be able to block us. And we need to not let them do that. Honestly, we haven't even lost all that much. We've only lost around 1,000 people. Well, they've lost 39,000. If you overwhelm them with just cheap horses, it's so much easier to be able to do anything. And in fact, I'm not even going to attack here right now because I want to steal all that equipment. So I think once I take the capital, is that is that it? No, it's about to be done. All right, hold on. What is their... Oh, they still have one little city over here. Okay, this should be done in a second. And go ahead, occupy territories, switch that to a local police 
police force and the speed trash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just have them defend that way. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and stop recruiting all those. I don't need that yet. I need the surplus of guns. And with this, that, as soon as that falls, that should be it. There it goes. Yes, we seize all the equipment of Saudi Arabia, which is excellent, all their fuel supplies, and we have taken all the oil. Great. First step of our conquest done. That puts us actually in the positives on guns, which is valuable. And since we are going to be going after Iran next, that means we need to line up our soldiers over here on the side and prepare for the fun over here. I have a good 120 days or so before I have to declare war again. So in the meantime, we're going to try and build up as much compliance and more forces as we can. This is going to be a little bit trickier though, because unlike in the case of Saudi Arabia, Iran actually has supplies in the mountains, and that, um, that sucks. They also have four mills as well as 11 civvies. Ooh, they really did build themselves up. Now, I'll go ahead and delete those. We'll only get two more mountaineers. That's going to be way more valuable for what we need here anyway. With an extra research slot, that means we can go over here, develop the next level of technology. We're going to need support weapons so that we can fight, and yeah, they, we're, we're going to have to run with very basic stuff over the course of this fight, and it's all we really can do. The big thing is, I'm trying to produce as much artillery as I can. We're going to need to make these mountaineers more special. I'm gonna need to figure out how I can do that. Potentially, you know, here's what we can do. Delete one of these so that I'll have more guns. And then we're going to edit this so that this is actually going to be a stronger division. Because if I can get mountaineers with more power, this means I'll be able to attack much more easily into the mountains themselves, and that's going to be way more valuable. So let's actually do that. In fact, we're going to make these 7-2 mountaineers. That's probably going to be way better than what we've been using before. Oh, shoot, I forgot to do my focus. Not that it really matters here in this case, I guess. Uh, armament, we need more weapons. I don't think I... Oh, oh, yeah, I was about to say, I haven't even looked to see what is going on in the world right now. Uh, Spain is still winning the nationalists austria hungary has united german military junta i don't i don't know what they're actually oh no they're going democratic okay so we're going to have a democratic germany it looks like still a democratic france so they might devolve into a civil war and then we're going to have a communist great britain okay um fun poland but wait what the did you give up territory to the soviets what 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 happened here uh, well, either way, we only have 20 days left here before we have to actually go and attack. So let's see. There's one unit. It's only 70. Let that build up slightly more before I spawn it out, and then we'll be able to prepare to attack. Do I have anything military high command? No, I just have an entrenchment expert and a close air support guy. Great, great. Well, you know what? Prince of Terror, so we can at least get more manpower because that's going to be necessary, and less damage to garrisons. That's probably one of the most valuable things that we could potentially get here. All right, with armament effort two, that means armament effort three, get ourselves even more mills because that's the most valuable thing that we can get here in all of this. And we'll spawn the one Mountaineer Division so that we can actually use it. And there we have it. The war goal is complete. Now we're going to go ahead and declare in war on Iran, and they're not guaranteed by anybody good. This is going to get really dicey. So we're going to try something very cheeky. First things first, actually declare the war itself, which is going to be necessary. I don't think... Oh, wait. Oh, they are going to go ahead and attack me. Really? I mean, if you just want to do that, that's fine. There we go. Okay, 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 okay. It's actually a little bit dicier. Uh, they, they have better units there slightly, or rather I should say that they're, 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 they're slightly more powerful here. Okay. So what I'm going to do, we're, we're, we're going to need to replace those to make these a little bit stronger. Yeah. We don't need nearly as many. Joseph Stalin assassinated. Wait, <laughs> Hey, I'm dealing with my own thing over here and Leventi Beria. Hey, uh, okay. Well, Soviets, um, wasn't anticipating that, but alrighty then. Let's see if you all would be ever so kind as to, uh, 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 destroy things. I need as much infantry equipment as I can, because I'm currently losing a good amount of it. In fact, I probably should have built that up way earlier. Um, I could even take this off of artillery. I need more guns. I need so many more guns. The resistance is just going to climb higher and higher up here, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I don't, I don't want to release Saudi Arabia, but I'm almost thinking that I may have to. Wait, 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 wait. Could I, could I get stuff from people? Could I request Lend-Lease? Could I, could I do that? No, they need world tension. Is there any fascist powers in the world? Not aligned. Italy, Italy, request Lend-Lease. No, they tell you, opinion, raise opinion, quick, improve relations, Italy, I need all of your guns. Is there seriously no other fascist power? Am I the only one? Am I the only one? Because I lost Germany. I lost Germany for this. No. Okay, that's good. That's going to be a thing to deal with. Quick, concentrated industry three. Just g give me give me more production. I need all of the guns, all of the guns, everything that we can possibly have. Construction effort two, I do not care. Produce. In fact, I don't even need artillery. I, I do need, no, I do need artillery. I need all of it. The resistance is just going to keep growing unless I release it. Oh my God. 
Okay, you know what? I realize Saudi Arabia does not even have hardly any oil. They don't. They don't. Even though I want to, I can't do anything there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to release them as a puppet. I can't I can't afford all this right now. Retain states with our cores. Release puppet. Sure. Sure, 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 sure. We'll do that, and then we'll reintegrate them at a later time. I, I just, I, I need the equipment that was used on them now. All right, my next step here, let's break through. St Wait, did that say Stalinist victory? Oh, oh, they weren't going democratic. That is a Stalinist Spain. Huh. Ah, uh, how sad. Okay. All right, we need to push forward gradually and do tiny little encirclements here as much as we can. Meantime, hold these guys. 94. If we can push through on this side. 97, 98, 99. Yes. Yes, as soon as we've done so, that means they're surrounded. Here, we'll go ahead and stop. Maybe, maybe we'll be able to funnel troops in here. Yep, they're going to try and escape, but maybe they'll just place troops back on, perhaps? No, I let them escape. Damn it, I let them escape. Okay, well, we'll head up towards the city. Italy says, you couldn't have done that earlier before I released Saudi Arabia. Okay. Thanks. I, I appreciate it. Don't get me wrong. I really do. But I got a lot of effort that I have to go through down here in order to do any of this. Um, military youth, paramilitarism, I, I, I kind of need it. As much as I want to increase my equipment, I simultaneously need more population and also the paramilitarism so that it takes less time to train my divisions. We're going to need this as soon as we can. They decolonized Kuwait. Whoa. Whoa. Wait, they got rid of all these. Hold on. Are they puppets? Are they puppets? of the? They are still puppets of the British. Okay. Okay. Eventually, though, they will be free. And that's going to be beautiful when that happens. Happens. We might actually be able to do this. There we go. There's another one surrounded. And hey, hold up, hold up. I think they left all this open. There we go. Just snake our way through. The more this territory that we're going to be able to take, the better. Yes, we're actually going to seize all of this. All right, all right. Come on. Last couple settlements. Last couple settlements. If we can just make our way over here, Mashad. Oh, we are so close. Come on. This is it, buddy. We made it. We made it. Mobile defense, increase our support. I need to get more stuff, more stability. No, paramilitary training. I don't want any of that. And there goes Iran. Yes, all their artillery, fuel, everything. Beautiful. Beautiful. We can seize all of this. Yes, this is exactly what I needed. Look at how beautiful that is. I really wish that I hadn't had to give up Iraq over here. That kind of sucks that that happened. Um, but it's okay because in taking Iran, that means we seize the majority of the oil in the Middle East because where the majority of it is located is specifically here. And while I can't justify necessarily on Kuwait or any of that, let's see, Yemen, Yemen is not a puppet. Oman is not a puppet. Okay, okay. I think that means we have our next targets up here. I do not know if that means that Britain is going to try and protect them. I don't think they will, but we can start justifying now. So I can do that. And then simultaneously, let's start justifying on Oman as well. They're not a puppet and that's 320 days. Okay, we're making great progress, actually. And let's see, military youth, paramilitarism. Well, that's not going to give me any real bonuses that I need right now here, I guess. So, uh, army effort. And then now we could finally figure out what support equipment is, I think. Yeah, that, that'll be helpful. Also, I'm not at war, so I can go down to civilian oversight, I think, because at least we can start getting more stuff then. No, no, really? UK, you would go and do... Why? Why would you do this? The independence of Oman is guaranteed by Egypt. It's guaranteed by, by Qatar, Kuwait. Why? It's, it's, of what? And Kuwait is a... Son of a bitch! Okay, well, we're going to cancel the justification then, I guess. Damn. Well, that sucks. I actually need those. I can't do Jordan. I can't do any... Okay, you know what? What about Afghanistan? Afghanistan? Can I Can I justify on you then? <laughs> no. <coughs> ah. Damn it. Oh, I'm dying. I'm dying here because UK, you can't leave me alone even in these circumstances. Fine. All right, cancel justification. You're wasting all of your justifications on me, on little old Iraq. Well, I guess since we have the political power, we need to boost our industry more. Uh, I could go war economy. Actually, war economy could be pretty good. Um, yeah, we'll get that. And then after that, maybe free trade because we we only have oil after all. That's all. That's literally all that we have. So do I even need to have on like a doctrine effort? Do I do I want any of this? No, that's special forces, which doesn't really matter. I mean, I guess I can get equipment and mechanization. That'll at least be kind of useful eventually but not not really right now for what i need at least we can get the next level of infantry equipment so we'll actually have some prominent uh soldiers maybe otherwise we're doing we're doing great here oh japan finally got annexed <laughs> that took a while then china oh go oh god china uh th this is kind of scary not gonna lie wait 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 
France is not a member of the Allies. France is not a member of the Allies, and I don't I don't think they're involved with Germany or anything, and they're not involved with the UK. Hey, wait, we could have an idea here. Hold up. Don't quote me on this, but a plan might be forming. First things first, though, go over here to free trade. We need to get that done as soon as we can secure free trade. That's going to boost up our research at least a little bit, as well as our construction. And honestly, again, we have we have no sources of anything except oil. That's, that's it. So the more of this that we can export, the better as time goes on. Also, planes. Planes are going to be valuable. We are going to need those. So let's go ahead and get that now. Let's see. Focus wise again i don't i don't need any of this equipment it's not like it's actually going to help me with anything here so um aviation airbase fighter fi you know what no we, we need the fighters we need to get an air force to be able to compete in the sky because there's no way we can afford to build basically anything else still though it's october 1939 nothing uh nothing has really happened here in the world amazingly enough genuinely surprised Wait, did I say Benito Mussolini was executed? He was. Oh, and Germany's preparing to go against the Soviets. Okay, wait, hold on. That just means it's Italy. Italy no, they're still fascist. Um, oh, whoa, wait, Italian. Oh, they got their own little protectorates. Listen, this is cute. They're part of the Italian League. I haven't seen that happen over here before. Interesting. Union of... Bra oh, whoa. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, there's something then. Union of Britain going after everyone. Wait, 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 wait. So they're causing the civil war because they didn't decolonize quickly enough, I think? Hold on. So Egypt, are you a puppet of what? You're just a puppet of regular UK. Wait, that means all the guarantees should disappear. Hey, hey, yes, go, 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 my commie brothers, go. You... Why do all of you seem to lack hairlines? But anyway, if you were going to win and take that over, that means I potentially now should be able to start justifying, right? Because yeah, they're only guaranteed by Qatar. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going to justify. Aiden, 210 days? Yes. Let's try that. Because Britain should have this wrapped up over here. The uh, the, the Union people should soon. So we, on the Imperial Kwantung territory, hey, and the unification of Iberia under the socialists. Uh, Germany, yeah, you might be surrounded on, by commies. Imperial Kwantung, are you a puppet of anyone? No, you were just on your own and at war with everyone. You are absolutely screwed, Mr. Putin. Don't look so sour. I Listen, last emperor of China, you're a... Uh, you're going out with a bang. A, a lot of bangs from the looks of it. Finally, we have figured out how planes work. That means we can move ahead and figure out how slightly better planes work. Decolonization of the British Empire. Uh, yeah, I, I think I think it was happening anyway here, to be fair. Because, yeah, they're, they're now in a faction. Um, but, but, but that's about it. Wait, hold on. No, they're guaranteed by Qatar. Qatar is also in a fa- Oh, wait, but the allies could be dismissed. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, Britain, finish the war. Destroy the allies. Dismantle the allies. I'm begging you. Dismantle the allies. Oh, my God. Are you not able to do it? Why? Why? I just... You know what? Fuck it. Okay, here's what we're doing. Here's what we're doing. We're spawning out a whole bunch of crappy divisions, right? Right, right, right. And then Britain, can I can I send you volunteers? Can I can I can I send these? They accept uh, one. Okay, I can only send one. Really, really, just one. Okay, fine, fine. I will send one volunteer under Abd al Malik Abd al Qadir because that's all I can do. So maybe, maybe if your war ends, then I'll actually be able to do something over here. Wait, no, no, it's guaranteed by the United Kingdom, but the United Kingdom is about to die. Wait a minute. The Allies don't have anyone in it, right? Japan, no, Japan is in the Allies. Oh, shoot. That means I'd be at war with Japan. But then that means I'd be able to fight my way across the Middle East and no one could stop me because the only one in the Allies then is Japan. And Japan's not going to interfere because France went communist. France went communist. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on. We're going to delete all these. We're going to delete all these and it's time to get some proper units in here again. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. What was that? What did, what did the UK just join? Do the Union of Britain has... Oh. Oh, the Popular Front block. Uh, <laughs> Germany. <laughs> Germany. You're, you're kind of surrounded, buddy. You're kind of surrounded. Union of Britain took 14 states. United Kingdom was annexed. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so they're no longer guaranteed, right? They're only guaranteed by Qatar. Qatar, they're in the Allies, which, which, which is still led by Japan. Japan is the leader of the Allies. Th th this is the Allies. <laughs> <laughs> it's Japan and the fucking Middle East. Like, just a couple states. 
And, uh, oh, Palestine. Okay. Well, there, there, there's, that's interesting. Now everything else is in the coalition of Commonwealth states. This could go either very well or very bad. The justification for conquering Aiden is done. Okay, 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 okay. Right, 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 right. Let's have some fun then. All right, there we go. My war with the allies. I think I'm at war with the entirety of the allies. Yep, yep. New Japan would get called in. The Republic of Qatar has fallen, so they are done with. And oh God, I am burning through all of my equipment over here. Netherlands joins the Central European, Central European Alliance. Okay, listen, I'm dealing with my own things here right now. Thank you. Um, including not having any equipment whatsoever, but it's all right because now we actually have planes. China joined the state. No. No, China did not join Japan. China did not just join Japan, meaning I'm going to be fighting <laughs> infinite numbers of people. Oh, uh, well, I, oh my God, no. Secret weapons, I guess. Secret weapons. Yemen has joined the allies. No, the French, oh wait, the French commune. The French commune. The French, oh, whoa, oh, I'm just making weird sounds at this point. Okay, 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 wait, who am I at war with exactly? I am, uh, oh God, this is, this is not a pleasant thing to look at. The state has called Yemen. Wait, no, I already am at war with Yemen. I, I'm literally at war with Yemen already. Docking rights, sure, yeah, I'm giving this to everyone. Kwantung territories, yep. Uh, Mengu Kuo, yep, 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 yep. Just finish this off, come on. Come on, we want to end this as soon as possible. There we go. There's Yemen. And with Yemen gone, that means we wipe out these here in the south. And, well, we, uh, I mean, we have it. We kind of have it. There's not really much else that they can do here from this side. Oman isn't guaranteed by anything, is it? No, it's guaranteed by Egypt and Qatar, which it already is. Wait, hold on. What is Egypt in? Egypt, Egypt is in the Commonwealth of Nations. I can't, I can't do that right now, man. I'm already dealing with my own shit, please. And the Trucial States is gone. Okay, I took that. Um, yep, is there anything else that I can do from here? I, I don't, I don't think so. Yep, Communist China is gone. Uh, China is just over here now with like unlimited manpower. Thanks, Italy. Thanks for the support. I, I really appreciate it. I don't even know what I'm doing right now, man. To add Germany going after the French commune. There it goes. Okay. Uh, huh, huh. Yeah, they're, um... Okay, they're actually going to have some strength on this side here, because even if they join with the Soviets, th th that's still Germany versus all of this. Oh, no, and I'm realizing I'm gradually running out of men, even now, even now, just because of how much territory I have taken over. I just, I don't, I don't have it. I don't have the ability to do anything. Wait, an invitation into, I can join a faction. Wait, Italy, 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 what do you, what do you, what are you at war with? What are you at war with? This could be great for me. I could, this could work. This could work. Wait, you know what, Italy? I accept your help. Why not? Because that means I can go and finish off Oman. Wonderful. 30 days and we're going to have that. Wait. Wait, Iron Wolf Lithuania. No, 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 no. You did not just do that. You did not just do No, no, I, I don't want to fight against the Soviets. The Soviets might justify on me. Wait, why? Why would you do this? So why would you do this? Oh my God, Germany is murdering everything. Belgium, are you in? You're in the same faction. Holy crap. <laughs> this is the good guy alternate version of his of history. <laughs> Finland joined the Italian. They're all joining the Italian League. Wait, should I join? Because they're going to fight over on this side. Should I join against the Soviets? You know, I know we're so close to taking it, but I'm, I'm going to cancel. I'm going to cancel the justification because I don't want to be attacked from the other side. Let's see. August 1941. No, no, no. We need we need to prep more of this here. Uh, let's see. Reorganize the railway. I can only do it one time. Okay. Well, you know what? Fine. Reorganize the railway. We'll get that done because we need to build a supply hub up here. Soviet British pact. Oh, no. Tell you what. Finally go up to extensive conscription uh, or no, limited. But we'll, we'll keep on needing to increase that here because uh, we're going to need a lot more people where we're going. As for the war, should I join in? I finished that in April. Uh, okay. We'll need to wait. We'll need to wait for that to complete before we can go ahead and join in. Oh, my God. And the Soviets are throwing themselves at this line. Oh, please. You got to hold. You got to hold, buddy. Italy, why are you declaring war on Somalia? Why would you? Is, is Somalia in anything? It is It is in the Commonwealth States. Why? Why, Italy? Why would you do this? Free India. Free India joined Italy. Hey, wait a minute. That's something. That's at least something. That's a little bit better over here. I didn't expect the Italians to team up with the Indians. Curry pasta. Oh my God. And now you're declaring on Greece. Why? You're splitting your attention way too much. Why are you doing this? 
Romania now joins the Central European Alliance. Okay, okay, but Germany, Germany, if you could declare war on the Soviets, that would be great, because as soon as you wipe out things over here, you're invading Britain! Hey, okay, ah, uh, this, this is this is a, probably one of the messiest things I think I've ever seen in my life. Wait, hold up, hold up, no, I don't need to join against the Soviets. I only need to join against the Commonwealth. Then I can seize Egypt. Oh, yes, 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 yes. That is it. Wait, I can't, I, I can't go into, wh why can't I join the specific war that I want to? Why do I have to join all of it? I don't want to join all of it. Oh God, I think I'm actually going to have to fight against the Soviets here. Uh, the fall of Paris. Hey, all this is done. Which means, oh God, Germany's getting beaten back slightly here in the North. Okay, if you could just hold on out, hold on out up there, buddy. You're fighting pretty solidly over here too. As for me, well, fuck it, we're gonna join. Let's do this. This could this could be it. This could be the, like the big doomed thing that we weren't supposed to do. Let's see. That's not the Soviets. Wait, what? What war did we fight? Oh, okay. Nope, not that one. Uh, duh, this one maybe. This. Yep, there it is. Okay. And immediately they throw themselves into our line here. This is fine. We're going to be able to hold out somewhat decently, I think. Yeah, if they can just continuously throw themselves at me, I would greatly appreciate that over here. I definitely would. Oh, right. I forgot. I was getting most of my goods there from the Soviets. <laughs> kind of forgot about that. Okay, that means... Wait, are they, are they seriously not going to... Really? You're, you're not going to do anything over here, buddies. Really? Not even if I just, like, br brought over some Protestant units? Oh, wait. Are they actually not able to move on through there? Oh, no, they are actually throwing themselves at me now. Okay, okay, uh, that could be a little bit of a problem. You all just, you know, do your best. Do your best and just keep on holding out here. This seems like like a fine bang-up job that you're doing over here. Germany declare war in Bulgaria. No, no, no. They declare war in Bulgaria, which is my ally. No, Germany, no. Why would you do this? Why would you do this, Germany? Why does it make any sense? The Soviets were your enemy. The, the fascists weren't doing anything. They were just, well, okay, they were doing a lot of here here in the Balkans. Oh my God, I can't, I can't join that fight. I can't. This is bullshit. The Italians have once again betrayed us by existing. So that means all I can do is go over here to extension, cons ext ex extensive conscription and try. Oh, no, 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 that's not what I... The Italians have invaded. No, 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 no. Why, why do they control this? Why, why do they get any of this? No, this is my territory. Fuck off, please. The Phalanges International. Mexico, did you genuinely create a faction amidst all of this that is the Phalangist International? Oh my God. You have eaten too many tortillas. Well, India's gone. Um, France, you want to trade? Yeah, maybe for a little bit before I lose that too because... So oh God. No, wait, I'm at war pack. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Spawn out these six. Um, protect my flank, maybe? It's hollow Balbo is deposed. No, no, not Balbo. Oh, no, no. Wait, wait, that's not the, the Liberians? No, that's the Americans. Wait, 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 wait. Soviet Union took four states. No, no. Why are you in my freaking country? Oh, no, 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 no. They're actually breaking through. They're actually kind of breaking through here. Uh, that's not good. This is my land. You need to get the hell out of my land. They can reallocate all their forces down to my side, and I can't do anything about it. I oh, no, 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 no. Where did, where did you come from here? How were you able to get through this? German Italy. No, I'm by myself. I'm by myself holding out against the enemy from all sides. Oh, God, we're holding, we're holding, we're holding, but we're not really able to hold in many other places, okay? Okay, we're doing our best, damn it. How many men have I even lost? I've lost 87,000. Oh, God. Um, uh, <laughs> and yet I've killed over half a million Soviets. Okay, you know what? This is revenge for the Afghan war that hasn't even happened yet. No, 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 no. Are they starting to break through? I think they're starting to break through. Okay, all right, all right. If we could just hold out, though, let them, let them kind of push in, and it's okay. It's okay. If, if we if we can just hold out as they push further in, they'll have no supply. That's okay. It's okay. I, I'll accept little pushes from them if it means we can still hold the line elsewhere. I have no rubber. I can't get any rubber. I have nothing. I can't do anything. <laughs> oh, no. They're starting to push from the south, too. No, no. You idiots. Don't attack them. Just hold. Oh, no. No, they're push. They brought out their units. They brought out their units. No, they're taking me off the ports. Oh, it's guys. Austria, Germany, choice, Hungary. No, <laughs> why? Wait, Germany just declared to the Soviets. Now you do it? Now of all for Why? Why is the Middle East getting abused? And only now do you decide to turn on each other. Okay, I had to go to bed and think on this here. I'm, I'm back. Uh, ha, ha. 
So everything is still pain. Quick, okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna create a fallback line, put all these in one group, maybe, and be able to go back and hold on out. I hope, please. Lithuania, Ruthenia declares war on Germany, and Austria-Hungary declares war on the Yugoslavian Confederation. I mean, to be fair, it already, uh, uh, to wait, Yugoslavia joins the common turn, I guess. Oh my God, what is even happening right now? I didn't want to fight you. Ge wait, Ger oh, no, I'm not fighting Germany. Hey, okay, wait, no, Central European Alliance. I'm not at war with the Central European Alliance, right? No, 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 I'm only, I'm only at war with like the Soviets and everything. Okay, okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Maybe, maybe if I withdraw back, I'll be able to survive. Okay, there, there goes two divisions. Come on, just need to make it back as far as we can. Start lend lease. Wait, am I actually running out of equipment? Am I? Oh my God, I am. I'm actually straight up running out of equipment. Oh no. Whoa, when the hell did they break through? No, no, I was gonna be able to protect myself. I was gonna be able to protect myself. No, here, okay, okay. I didn't want to call in my puppet because I didn't want them to get attacked. See, this is why I didn't want to get them attacked. I figured that, that exactly this would happen, but now I need them. I need them because Baghdad is about to fall. No, I think it's over boys. I think it's over the grand Iraqi dreams fall and the Chinese are still trying to get into my country. We may be losing everything, but at the loss of 200,000 lives, we killed like a million Soviets, I think. Yeah, a million Soviets we had ended here on this side. If it hadn't been for the bullshit of things happening over here on this side, we would have been great. Here we go, having withdrawn, we managed to stabilize things here a little bit. What do you mean no supply connection from capital? This is the capital. Mosul is the capital. Why do I not have supply from it? Oh, they are really throwing themselves at me here. Am I, am I holding? I am, I am kind of holding. I'm actually running into the positives here again on equipment. Maybe we can actually hold, but damn it, if I'd been able to hold here all down this line, this would have been so much better. No, 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 no. When did they cut me off? They cut me off. Oh, crap. Yes, okay, we took it back, took it back. Get that supply, which I still don't have for some reason. How, how do I not have supply? What do you mean there's no supply connection to the capital? Of course there is. No, wait, none of this is connect. Oh my God, my railroad is not connected. It's not connected and I don't have any anything to use here. Oh, I've lost all my oil. I've lost everything. There we go. Okay. Okay. Now I did that. Now they're connected, right? Did that fix it? Yes, that fixed. That fixed my supply. Okay. We're actually holding here, boys. We're actually doing it. You know, I am so proud. I am so proud of this community. Wait, Greece clear war. Tur wait, I have Turkey as an ally now? Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, if I have Turk, no, no, no. I don't want Turkey as an ally. If Turkey is an ally, that means that they'll be able to attack on the other side. Are you freaking kidding me? Why are you doing this to me? And we're running out of men again. Okay. Well, you know what that means? Uh, not, 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 not scraping the bottom of the barrel. Service by requirement. Let's, let's do that one. I already have 12% of my country's population in the army. I might as well do more. But hey, hey, with the Soviets having been fighting against me the entire time, I think that means that we're actually doing decent over here. Hey, oh my God. Did I have, I had five divisions that were trapped down here the entire time. When? When was that a thing? No wonder I didn't have any soldiers to be able to guard the North. When the hell did you go down South? Oh God, I'm actually pissed. I'm actually pissed at myself there. Come on, Romanians, please do your part. Just take out the Soviets. If I can take out things in the north, then potentially I can create some buffer states over on the side and concentrate on retaking back my country. Because as it is, we are holding out here in the desert barely, and they are they are continuously throwing themselves at me, and I'm trying to defend myself. Yes, okay, there goes Bulgaria. That's one thing cleared over on the side, which means we don't actually have an enemy over here anymore. So that means, could I, could I get support from Turkey? No, they're going to continuously throw themselves at me. The more they can bleed themselves out, the better. We're actually managing to last. I did not think we could do this. If we could just finish things off over here, maybe, could I, could I push on this side? Potentially? I have the manpower now. Maybe if I got the equipment? Don't worry, guys. I figured out how to save the day. All we need to do is go over here to research and get some good old Iraqi WMDs. Yeah. Egypt is capitulated. Oh, hey. Whoa. Is, who's Germany at war with? Are they at war with the other things here? They are. Oh, wait. Germany could save me. Germany. Yes. Hold on. Offer military access. Yes. Yes. I'll give that to you. Please improve relations. Yes. If they can just make it to the South and defeat South Africa, we'll be okay. Let's see. Can I do this? Can I break through? I could break through. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. We could potentially do something here. If we can make little pushes and push to maybe collapse the Soviet Union, if we could take Baku. Yes. Yes. That means we're actually able to do something. Here we go. A little push. Yes. Yes. There's more surrounded. 
If we can get in here, that means we are seizing the Soviet oil supply. Soviet oil supplies means we can export things, I think, right? And then from there, we'll be able to make some money. There we go. All these little pushes. The more their units we can wipe out, the better. That means they're going to have to redistribute their forces to the south, which means that they're going to be able to push here in the north. Come on. Give me all the artillery, everything you possibly can. I need a ton of it. And now we need to connect the road networks, get that going. And give me all the cannon you can. Let's see, we just make it over here to the north. That means that we're going to secure some supply, right? Because with this, that should be connected. China's called the state of Japan. Listen, I don't want to fight more, please. Just, just, where, where's, where's the supply? How is this not connected? What do you mean it's not connected? It is connected. I literally have it. Look at this. Look, 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 look. It, it's following the connection. Why are you not giving me supply? There we go. Finally. Okay, that... That does something then. There we go. Another supply point secured. Excellent. Holy crap. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. When, when did this happen? When did we get surrounded on this side? No. Hold up. Wait. That My land is being taken back. Oh my God. We've actually surrounded them. We surrounded them. We're getting our people back. Yes. Oh, Iraq is coming back to the grave, people. Let's see. With no supply. That means we can go ahead and surround everything down here. And wonderful, wonderful. Just keep on pushing through. Oh my God. I can't believe we're doing it. We're doing it. There we go. Cut them off. Cut them off. Cut them off. Last group last group then we've seized the 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 ca caucuses yes yes get dicked on caucuses get get dicked on yes gain at least one province every week for a certain number of weeks well you know what you know what that's something and a big thing are we we are still holding out here arabia yes we're taking it back oh my god the greatest comeback in the history of comebacks Oh my God, we did this. Okay, the Soviets uh, Soviets are still fighting. Not really much that I can do over on that side. It's it's fine though. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm pretty sure that the Romanians in Germany will be able to take this on. We need to start focusing, I think, here in the South. Actually, no, no we, can, we can hold the South. We should focus on getting as much war score against uh, the Soviets as we can. There we go. Even more units wiped. Excellent. We're actually taking this. Okay, can we move on? How's our trade? Or supply, supply, supply. Uh, a couple more days, but then we'll actually be able to take this. Communist, wait, oh. Oh, communist? Okay, no, I don't get any of this. Okay, that's fine. Ah, oh, damn it, I was thinking something was over. It's not. Okay, now... Okay, now we actually have a little bit of a problem here. I have nothing in the way of supply or anything over here. Um, uh, okay. It's not like I have the resources to be able to build anything anyway, so I can't, I can't even push. So, okay, instead, let the allies hold here, and we will push everything in the south. We want to be able to take on the enemy down here. If they start to push me back, it's fine. We'll just go and retake this again, because that means being able to kill more of their units. Let's see, we can just take back our capital. Yes, there we go. There we go. There's the capital. There's Baghdad. That means we've secured the supply. If we can secure the supply heading further south we can cut off the enemy here and be able to eviscerate them oh my god that was a huge boost of manpower from that there we go yes yes retake back the country take out baghdad take it all here we go if we can sweep in here through kuwait we're gonna be able to seize off the supply yes and that needs even more equipment that they've been stockpiling and here it is 1945 we're back in iran once again baby i came i saw a rock all right, that, that's what the title of this video is going to be. Yes, yes, more wiped, more. Oh my God, they have like 12 divisions here. Holy crap, this is why I wasn't able to push. They have so many divisions. They have 25, the Japanese have 25 divisions just sitting here in the desert attritioning. Oh my God. Oh, now this is going to be one of the fattest, worst pockets I've ever had. How many Japanese did we just kill right there? Oh, probably several hundred thousand. Okay. Yes. And now Kuwait, once again, you came back and you die again. Yes. Yes. Okay. 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 Okay, that's one push. That's one push. We managed to take the port. Come on. I know they have a bunch of units here. If we just push on through. Yes. Yes. Surround and kill all of them. Oh, I have no idea how many that is, but it's a lot. I'm sure it's a lot. Oh, whoa, whoa. Am I actually getting pushed back? I'm getting pushed back. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Where are all these attacks coming from? Where are they getting? Oh, whoa. Hey, wait. When did Turkey invade from this side? Turkey, Turkey, why would you do this? Why would you do this? It is March of 1946. We are still fighting in Arabia. They're still fighting the Soviets. They're not able to break through here. Oh my God, there's simply so many divisions. I can't, I can't break through any of this. There's just too many. There's too many and I have no tanks. I have no air. I have no nothing I can use to reclaim this. So, okay, what if we start pushing here? Maybe if we can push on this side and start seizing some supply, maybe if we knock them out so they won't have nearly as many ports over here, that will be better. And I'm also going to start running out of manpower again soon here. So, um, all adults serve. Yep, that's what we want. Every Iraqi citizen in here to fight. Bruh, come on, just break through this. 
Oh, this is annoying. This is annoying. I am sacrificing. I've lost a billion people. I've lost a billion freaking people here so far, man. They have so many divisions. And how have you not fallen yet, Soviets? Ha ha ha. Oh, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Can't. It won't let me in. Social. When did Germany flip and become socialist? When? When did you do this? Oh, you know, I can't. I'm looking very um orange. Okay. <laughs> what the? F when did you flip back and become a democracy? There, Turkey. Turkey, you're doing another naval invasion. Why would you do this? What? Okay. Well, at least we built a port here. So that means we're going to have some uh, some supply, right? Yeah, at least at least we have that. Also, I have to say, what has uh, America been involved in at all? They they have a war goal against the, 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 the what? No, the Soviets have a war goal against the U.S. The, the U.S. The U.S. hasn't done anything the entire freaking game, man. Whoa, wait, when did we take the port? We took the port. Okay, that's huge. That's huge. That means supply. Come on. Come on. Just push him back. Just push him back. We were winning. Yes. Okay. Okay. Hold. Just hold. Hold the line. No. No, 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 no. You're not taking that. You're not taking that. You're not taking that. No, 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 no. I just took this land. And they're pushing me back here too because I don't have a tank. <laughs> I can't. This desert fighting. This desert fighting. I can't do shit. You know what? Fuck it. Let them have the desert. I don't even care anymore. I don't. I don't. We're sending the Iraqi boys up north. I don't care. We're going after the Soviets. We have got to finish off this war in order to be able to let them move. There we go. Two divisions surrounded. Just keep on pushing. There's like no sources of supply here at all. And I can't build any because I'm not in the freaking faction. Mm, reinforce me as our ally. Oh, hey, we're getting another ally. That, that's nice. Oh my God. This is how many divisions they had over here. Are you kidding me? Wait, 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 wait. They took the port. They took the port. They took the port. Finally. Yes. Yes. And that's like 80 divisions. Oh my God. That's beautiful. Oh, 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 it did it. How many? I don't even know how many losses that was. All right. All I know is we've lost way too many people. It's 1947. We, we finally took back Arabia. It took years, but we finally have the most valuable land in the world. The desert. Oh, we took the supply in the north. Okay. Okay. This is something. Everything in here is still. Oh my God. France is invading. Why are you invading the Arctic of the Soviets? France. France. What are you doing? Yes. There we go. There's one group surrounded. China's called the African Union. No, God damn it. No. Uh, can I can I do anything over here at all? No, we're kind of stuck. Turkey. Turkey launching another naval invasion. Here, if you could just please push. No. Still no pushes. Still nothing working. Come on. Yes. Okay. There's another group wiped. Come on. We're moving in. Are we, we're taking it. Turkey. Turkey, you beautiful bastard. You're doing so well. I'm so proud of you. I guess it's the first time for everything then. Yes. Ten more divisions. Wiped. 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 Keep on moving. Oh, whoa. Wait, 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 wait. The Romanians, they're starting to make pushes. Finally. Finally, yes, 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 yes. The more of these that we can take out, the better. We've seized the supply here in the in, in uh, the the, the Tur Turkestan in the stands in the stands of Central sta of this. We've seized all the supply of Central Asia, so now we can move forward. Let's just go ahead and push. We have the men now. We can sacrifice all of them. I don't care. <laughs> Wait, am I out of guns? Oh my god, I'm running out of guns. How did I run out of guns? Oh god, we're gonna need a whole bunch of that then. Um, okay, stop producing this other stuff. I don't need more trains. I don't need more of any of this. I need guns. Yes, yes. Okay, we're taking the steps. We're taking the steps. Oh my god. We did it. <laughs> we did it. I've been doing this. Oh, I knocked out my green screen. Okay. I can't believe we freaking did it, man. Listen, you all already know what it is that I want here, right? We need the oil and basically everything else that we could possibly want. You know, just, 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 just some little things here, I think. Well, there you go. We may not have been able to form Arabia, but I think Iraqi Russia is, uh... <laughs> I think this is definitely one of the most cursed things I think I've ever created in my life. Holy shit. But guys, it is August 1948. I've been playing this for so, so, so many hours. I think, um, I think I'm done here. If I wanted to continue to play until like maybe 1960, maybe, then I would be able to go over and, and eventually fight against Germany and everything else that they managed to take over here. But there's no way for me to actually be able to form Arabia as it stands with all this because I just, th there's too many enemies to fight. There's, there's too many. And I am immensely proud that we came back from the brink of destruction to do this. Holy crap, was that a wild ride. And all of that done on Iron Man, earning 
literally no achievements. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you would like to see me do some actual achievement runs or anything like that, then by all means, let me know down in the comment section below. Make sure to like this video. And if this video gets 5,000 likes, then I am going to be doing achievement runs here in the future. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you have a good rest of your day. And my God, do I need to go sleep. Goodbye, my friends.